What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. As you guys saw, if you watched my um, one year review on the MT-1501, at the end of the video, I did show this um, at the end of it, right? Um, I had to pick up the MT-1506 because I'm slammed with embroidery work, right? The MT-1501 is a beast, right? But I've gotten so many bulk orders now that running 50, 60 hats on the MT-1501, it can be done, right? Um, but the thing is, I'll, I'll have customers asking me, are they almost done? Are they almost done? Are they almost done, right? So I had to, being that I'm in a commercial spot and I have a lot of people that come in here wanting embroidery done, uh, bulk items, I had to upgrade to the MT-1506 to help speed up that process and keep everybody happy. All right, so like I tell you guys all the time, if you guys are looking to get into embroidery, take your home business or your shop to its next level, I mean, you guys have seen it here, right? I mean, I can't make this up, right? Um, from the single head to a six head, um, if you guys are looking to get into this, um, right now, take advantage of it because Rakoma's doing um, President's Day sale from now to February 25th um, at 6 p.m. Eastern. There's a cutoff time, February 25th, 6 p.m. Eastern time. There's a link down below to Rakoma. Click that link, um, and it's going to save you up to $1,500 in shipping, right? In this video, you're gonna see how this thing comes shipped, right? And 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 when it comes shipped freight, it's not free, right? But right now, Rokoma's offering it to you for free. Whether you upgrade to this or you're just looking for the MT-1501 or the 1010 or whatever they carry, right? Right now, February 25th, 6 p.m. Eastern time. Take advantage of it, because it's not gonna last forever, right? All right, so it's not gonna last forever, right? I told you, there's a cutoff time, right? So let's go ahead and get into this video and I don't even want to think about it. Get this thing into the shop. All right, so this door is iffy right here because it's about 33 and a half wide, right? So what we're gonna do is take it to the back door and bring it in the back door the same way we brought in all that equipment. So let's do that. All right, so we're gonna bring it through this door because it's 35 inches. And when we measured this, it was about 33 and a half, 34 and a half, 33 and a half to 34 inch wide. So best bet, so I don't have to really push it all the way around the building was just to bring it through the back door.
Wait, it's scraping on this side. Okay, there we go. Okay, good to go. Damn it. So one thing they didn't tell us was to take off this box from the side of it, right? We weren't getting it in the door. And then the, the tow truck driver like, let's check, see what's under here. There was this box holding it from going in. So if you get this and you have a standard door like I have, make sure you take this box out of the back of that. Now let's get this thing in the building. So I had to go back to work, but it's the end of the day now, right? So we're going to get this thing. We're going to take it off. As you guys saw, it was a headache getting it in here, right? Um, I didn't know that big old lump in the back was a box, but we figured it out, right? They told me that was going to fit through the door, and I, when we were bringing it in, I wasn't sure. And then whenever we saw that that lump in the back was causing it from coming in, we took, it, we took off the back to see what was holding it up. We found that it was a box, right? Um, this thing usually comes crated, but since it was just coming from Florida straight to here, um, I didn't pay for the crating. They didn't charge me for the crating, and they just wrapped it just like this. So we're going to go ahead and unwrap this thing and check it out. Let's do this. All right, so we got the plastic off. Let's take off this gray stuff and see what this thing looks like. All right, so if you guys have purchased a machine from Racoma, you guys know that they ship it with hats on it, showing that they've already tested this machine with hats. So this one's got six of them on there. It looks good. These all look good, but we'll only be able to tell once we take this off and uh, get it done ourselves. Yeah. 
Is, it, is there a setup process for it? Yeah. So here's some of the threads that come with it. So we got a whole bunch of these. We gotta load all these up. Get ready for our training. Hey, can you grab these, CJ? So uh, another Madeira box with a bunch of stuff in it. This is who I use whenever I order my stuff. Madeira.com. Auto caps. What they say? Some caps. They did send some caps. Send three caps in this box. Let's see what else we got. Three more. A couple catalogs. Check these out. 2020 catalog for 2022. All right, so we had all that packaging in the back right here. We got one big old hoop right here. Look at this. From here all the way to here. So this is for, looks like it's for the flats. The one that I took off in the front is the big one, like this purple one that's up there. That one right there, right? That's the one that I just took off that was attached to the front. Now we have this one. So we're going to take this off here, get all this bubble wrap off, and then we got to figure out how we're going to get it to fit in this space right here with the single head. So we have the six head plus the single head, and hopefully they all fit across this wall. We've got to light it up, see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing set up, and if I see if there's anything that I need to show you guys while I'm setting this up, I will show you both. Next thing you should see is this thing put together. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we got everything unpackaged. We got these little arms up right here where the tables are gonna go. So we're gonna open up this box. First box that we're gonna open came with like five or six boxes, but we're gonna open up this first one so we can put those tables on there. So let's go ahead and do that. Found it. Keep losing this thing. So this is the box right here that was attached to the back of it um, that was making me afraid that this thing was not going to fit through the door. So I took off the uh, package the back of it to look at it. So now you know that this thing will fit through the standard door. All right, let's figure out how this goes on here. So we got one. Two, three, four tables. All right, so all of them are looking like they have these little brackets at the bottom. I just need to figure out where they go and how they're supposed to go. All right, so it looks like they can go. So it looks like they can go here, but they might go here. So I'm going to put them here on this bottom one and along that. So let's do that, see how it looks. All right, so those, the boards that we're putting on there need to be attached. So I need to find the screws because they're not in that box. So hopefully they're in one of these. So let's see what comes in this. This says that. I don't know what this is. Oh, uh, this looks like the converter. So. so we got this. You don't need this right now. With that that I just unboxed right there, or took out of the box, is um, how you're able to run it on a standard plug. So these are probably the hoops. But we need to see where those screws are at. So with the six head, unlike the MT-1501, you're gonna get more hoops, right? So here's some hoops, some more hoops. Some more hoops.
some more more hoops. Some more hoops. I'll just show you. Let me just bring you in here. So, a bunch of hoops in here. This is a, what I'm looking for. Hopefully everything is a ton of hoops. Hopefully my mighty hoops fit this machine, because if not, that's gonna be upsetting. Alright, so we don't need this one right now. So let's move on to this one. So we got some more hoops here. Let's put these on this box. More hoops. More hoops. Hoops for days. How to use the machine. To hoop the caps. That's what these are for right here. Capping stations. See what else we have here. Like some plastic for the canters underneath. Toolbox. As you know, with the MT1501, you get the toolbox. Some thread. Need some needles. But I want to find some of these. Like a circuit card. This is gold right here. This is gold. I lost my last one, right? This is to thread the thread through the machine if you let it run out. Lost my last one. I'm glad I got another one now. Some oil, screwdrivers. I don't see the screws though. Found them. All right, so here's the bag we we're looking for. Those. So we need one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. All right, let me get these on and we'll be right back. It's set up, right? We've got the tables on there. We've got our thread over there. This is what came with the machine. One for every head, right? So we have one for every head. We've got these colors here. Poly neon, that's the ones I like to use, the poly neons. Um, we got those there, and then to finish it off, we got another five right here because we're working with 15 colors, right? So let's go ahead. We're going to set up all these colors. I won't be able to use it until I get my training done um, from a coma whenever they come over here. So let's go ahead and get this thread on there, get it set up because we got other jobs that we still got to do on the MT-1501. So this one, we're going to do our ones and twos. This one can knock out big orders for us. So here's all the hoops that come with it. A lot of hoops, I think there's like 12 of each hoop, which makes sense. So you can have six running, and while those six are running, you can set up the next six. So you'll get all these hoops with the machine also. All right, so that's it. That is the unboxing, crating, whatever we want to call it, for the CH2-1506. All right, so that's it. That's how this thing came delivered, right? If you guys are getting this in anything but a something with a roll-up door, like the way I did here with a standard door, you guys know that it does fit, right? Just make sure you have that flatbed tow truck to get this off. Uh, one thing that we had to do was remove all the canisters or all those little leg levelers. 
to make sure that it rolled off of the trailer, right? We had to take all of them off. So make sure you take those off before rolling it off the trailer because you will have trouble, right? Um, I think I edited a lot of that out. Um, and then again, I showed you everything that this thing came with, right? Um, all the thread that it came with and all the hoops, right? So you get enough thread to, to line this up one time, right? All the little ones though, not the big ones, right? Um, one thing that I don't like so far is while I've been waiting for this machine, while I've been waiting for this machine, I've been ordering Mighty Hoops. So I got six of these to find out that these won't even fit on here. So that's a bummer. I'm gonna have to find out about these right here, if they make the brackets that are longer um, to fit with the super long one that comes with it. But these right here, from what I know right now, are too short, so I gotta figure this out. If I would have known that, I wouldn't have ordered six of these. All right, so again, that is it. I cannot use this machine until I have training from Rakoma, right? The good thing about the six head machine, I don't know about the other ones, but Rakoma actually comes out here to this location for two days and gives us hands-on training with this machine. So I'm excited for them to come out here, show me how to use this machine. I pretty much know how to use the machine already because I have the MT-1501, but it's a different beast, right? Six heads. Awesome, right? Thank you guys for watching another one of my videos. I'm excited to show you guys content on the 1506. So if you guys are interested in watching that content, make sure you hit that subscribe button, click that bell so you're notified whenever I put out new videos on this thing here, right? Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. And until next time, keep pressing.